Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on benign lumps and bumps of the eyelids. First is Calasian. This is a common, painless condition, in which an obstructed meibomian gland causes a granuloma within the tarsal plate. It is more common in children. Its symptoms are of an unsightly lid swelling which usually resolves within six months. If the lesion persists, it can be incised and the gelatinous contents cured it away. An abscess, internal hordeolum, may also form within the meibomian gland. And unlike a calasian, this is painful. It may respond to topical antibiotics but usually incision is necessary. A sty, external hordeolum, is an exquisitely painful abscess of an eyelash follicle. Treatment requires the removal of the associated eyelash and application of hot compresses. Most cases are self-limiting, but occasionally systemic antibiotics are required. The second one is molluscum contagiosum. This umbilicated lesion found on the lid margin is caused by a pox virus. It causes irritation of the eye by shedding virus into the eye. The eye is red, and small elevations of lymphoid tissue are found on the tarsal conjunctiva, causing follicular conjunctivitis. Treatment requires excision of the lid lesion. Besides that, various cysts may form on the eyelids. Sebaceous cysts are opaque. They rarely cause symptoms. They can be excised for cosmetic reasons. A cyst of mal is a small translucent cyst on the lid margin, caused by obstruction of a sweat gland. A cyst of Zs is an opaque cyst on the eyelid margin, caused by blockage of an accessory sebaceous gland. These two can be excised for cosmetic reasons. Next, squamous cell papilloma. This is a common, frond-like lid lesion, with a fibrovascular core and thickened squamous epithelium. It is usually asymptomatic but can be excised for cosmetic reasons with cautery to the base. Xanthelasma. These are lipid-containing bilateral lesions, which may in youth be associated with hypercholesterolemia. It is worth checking the blood cholesterol. They are excised for cosmetic reasons. Keratoacanthoma. This is a brownish-pink, fast-growing lesion, with a central crater filled with keratin. Treatment is by excision. Careful histology must be performed as some may have the malignant features of a squamous cell carcinoma. And lastly, nevus, also called as mole. These lesions are derived from nevus cells, which are altered melanocytes, and can be pigmented or non-pigmented. No treatment is necessary. That's all for this video. Thank you.